Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about NetGas. Unfortunately, not a super interesting market at the moment. For the last few months, it's just been moving sideways. So we are basically range bound, very boring price action. Seems like a lot of markets are currently ranging. We've got gold, silver, we've got net gas, oil. I mean, what's going on? Bitcoin is ranging. Yeah, okay, at the moment it's going up a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these markets. It's really boring at the moment. So the markets haven't really made up their mind yet. And also net gas, even though it's trying to push higher, I think in this structure, unless it's a super bullish, um, one second, uh, yeah, here, one, two, one, two, one, two setup. I think we're dealing with an ending diagonal in wave C here, uh, in wave four, which could still result in one more low. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to, yeah. It doesn't need that one more low. If I count the wave four here and the wave five here, that is possible but it's just a very shallow wave four. That is my main reason to prefer the wave four to be here and with one more low to come. Just be aware that in an alternative structure, the larger wave two, the end of the bear market was already in April. But then I don't know what this is. This could, again, if the low is already in, in this wave two, then we're probably dealing with a one, two, one, two, one, two setup. Very bullish for a possible rally into the, I don't know, $10 region plus, you know, but it will take years to get there. Yeah, it's not like, you know, it's not like this is gonna happen next year. Well, you never know in this crazy world. Okay, um, we are dealing here with um, a possible wave one, yeah, of wave C, which peaked on the 19th of May. We're dealing with a wave two of wave C, which bottomed on the 2nd of June. And now, yeah, what is this? I mean, this is looking like a five wave move, but it basically overlapped with this. So it cannot really be um, some kind of a wave three and four. I labeled it yesterday as A wave to the upside and possibly a B wave to come now. B wave pullback, no sign is over. So it could still go a little lower, obviously not in a straight line, but the B wave pullback could get into the region between 229 and 250 where it could then rally in a C wave afterwards. Um, I sincerely hope that's not another ending diagonal. It would be super, super annoying. But if you're wondering why I'm labeling a third wave as ABC, well, because the wave one is also an ABC. The wave two, anyway, the wave three would be an ABC. Um, th that's how I label it, because it, it just fits into the context. And again, the possibility was there to label this as a wave one. Yeah, maybe an A wave, B wave, C wave. But then what is this? This is not really, yeah, it's it's very, it's not the best chart really, to, you know, in terms of um, following in an impulse. So again, there are different ways of labeling and, and counting this, but I don't want to confuse you. And also it doesn't make a great difference in the short term. So we leave it like that for now. I would expect it to change and to morph because whenever we're dealing with ABC structures in, in the waves, then the structures tend to change, structures tend to morph. So we need to be on our toes, we need to be able to understand that corrections will happen where we don't necessarily expect them, things like that. Um, it hasn't even broken above this ascending trend line yet really. And let's see if it comes back into this pullback zone. But the idea is that as long as we're holding that wave too low at 214, the focus can be on higher. There is not much more to add, unfortunately, at the moment. It's a very boring market, but I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.